Because my heart beats for nobody but Brita. Because I love her. I really love. I love her a lot, you know. Rishab? Rishab? <clears throat> Everybody else here has already made up their minds and decided that I am guilty in this situation without asking me. Rishab? So that means that... You are also blaming my daughter for what happened. You want to say that she's lying and she did all of this on purpose? Possibly. How dare you, Rishab? Rishab is never going to marry Shirley. And not just Rishab, there is no man out there who would want to get married to her if they find out she's carrying my child. So now, you can decide who you want your daughter to marry. Rishab Luthra or Prithvi Malhotra. Shirley is not a good woman. I know that she is not what she pretends to be. And this time, she is going to reveal her true colors to me. I'm going to make her confess the truth to me. I know what to do. You don't have to worry. We all know what really happened. Sherlin is lying. Preeta has gone to talk to her. She will fix everything. And I'm sure that being a woman herself, she would never support a girl like Sherlin. Sherlin is a conniving woman. I mean, how could she make up such a horrible lie? She might have been crying, but they were clearly fake tears. We all know that. I didn't do any of this by myself. My boyfriend helped. We worked together. We both came up with the plan together. I admit it. I admit everything, everything that you managed to figure out about me is 100% true. Why did she openly admit to everything? Fear. Fear. She's scared. And I have a feeling that she's trying to scare you so that you will back off. If you overcome it, then you can defeat her. It's as simple as that. I started this game, and so I will set the rules of this game. No matter what she says, and no matter what she tries to do, she is never going to succeed in stopping the wedding. I'm telling the truth, Perita. I'm not trying to accuse Sherlyn or say that she is lying to everyone about what really happened, but... Can I please ask you something? Please listen to me. Please, Preeta, just don't form a bad opinion of me. I promise I really am not a bad person. Rishab, I know you well enough to know that you're not like that. You would never even dream of doing anything of the sort. What do you think? Do you think that Karen's in love with me? Besides, I was simply saying that I think it might be possible that Karan could have feelings for me. But then you suddenly started a rant about how it is impossible that he could have feelings for me. What did you say? You went on about how Karan could never be in love with me. You said that it could never happen. And then you implied that I was delusional. And what else did you say? Just because he fights with me does not mean that he likes you more than he likes me. I am not really his fan, but he thinks that I'm his biggest fan and whatnot. I'll tell you something that I might not ever be able to tell you again. Turn around and count. I'll tell you everything. Happy Holly, Preeta. That's right. You enjoy yourselves as much as you can, because this holy festival will be your last. Rishab and Preeta, 
I'll make you both suffer dearly on this special occasion. You will celebrate for the last time today. Who threw the knife? I want to know who threw the knife. How could you make such a serious mistake, huh? Will somebody answer me? You are apologizing now. I'm sure you won't understand the technical name for it. Do you know what a litmus paper is? It is what we use to find out how alkaline or acidic a substance is. I have a similar testing paper in my medical kit. And when this paper turns from red to blue, it means the substance that we are testing is a poisonous one. Whatever happened to her on the night of the festival has taken a toll on her. I think she's just not in her right mind. I think you should forgive her. Bridge you do not know her. In fact, no one truly knows her. She's a very dangerous woman. The police are here. Is everything okay? No, it's not okay. I'll tell you what happened. And Manisha has escaped from jail. She's hiding in this house disguised as a dancer. Aunt Rocky saw her in the kitchen. There is only one dancer who is missing, Karan. Just relax, Pritvi. Did I not tell you, Miss Preeta Aurora? I will have my revenge and I will make Ritvik's killer pay for what he did. Well, look now, I have done that. Please sign over here. I want to talk to Manisha face to face today. 